Okay, we're going to be doing the uh, scythe variation of the um, um, uh, spinning jujigatami, but the situation here is if if the top man goes forward to try to evade and he goes pushes into Mike to try to stack him, Mike is going to roll over and finish with pretty much a uh, head roll jujigatami from that position. So uh, let's take a look at that again, everybody. So Mike's starting the side. Let's, let's get let's let's get the basics down. So see how he does the. The application of the legs here, size that up. So there's the setup, okay? Now, Eric on top doesn't like being there. I don't blame him. And he's going to push and try to avoid it. Mike just keeps rolling, and he takes him over into a really nice Juji Tommy finishing. And Mike, when you were grabbing, when you finish there, let's look at that again. When you're coming under, go ahead and do your move, and we'll just talk it through. Now, as you're rolling, you're catching, and I see with your left hand, you grab the leg almost much like a Russian drag to some degree, but you're rolling them. Okay, so we start with the basic uh, move of spinning Jujigatami. He comes back, he shifts his position back into the scythe movement. Okay, Eric, oh, he's already tapping as he tried to stand up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that was a really strong one. So, so sometimes, sometimes the opponent will try to stand up. So stand up and let's do it the way we were doing before earlier in the evening in practice where you come up and the guy stands up and you just finish there. See that? Okay. Let's look at that one more time and then we'll compare that with if the guy bulls forward. There, comes under. Now that's the, that's the stand-up version. Now, Eric, if you were to bull forward and try to push Mike out and roll him over, Mike would just keep rolling over his left shoulder into that really kind of a head roll, back roll, Jujigatami. More of a head roll, I guess, in this situation. Okay, let's look at that one more time, then we'll wrap it up. Very nice move. Come there. He tries to bull forward, and he doesn't take it, and he does that. Now, let me ask you this, put you on the spot, guys. Eric, if you were staying on your knees and not standing up, if you so were just kind of coming up. There? Yeah, if you could you stack him from there. And because a lot of guys won't stand up on the knees, they'll stack from that position, and but bull him forward, and he could still keep rolling over. Yeah, it's not quite as pretty and I kind of put you on the spot from there he kept, he's kept the foot in before yeah let's move back to center Mike you're moving him off the mat a bit there okay so you come in there you spin back the other side there you go and there if you just and just yeah you could catch it nice and clean and finish finish with it there so ideally I don't want to fight against him if he's pushing one way I don't want to let him go that way Right. And again, this uh, this variation of the, the hooking the foot around the head, we first picked it up from Sean Doherty. And he called it the scythe, uh, you know, like the uh, the reaping motion, you know, the, the hooking around the neck. So that's why we call it that. He called it that. So I give him credit for coming up with at least he's the one taught it to us, certainly.